Hey guys, you know there's some beautiful areas off the beaten path in Louisiana for kayaking and canoeing and, and general boating. And Saturday we went to one of these such places. It's up around Marksville, Morrowville, Cottonport area. It's a really remote place. The road back to the landing, there's a boat landing back there. It's pretty rough, but it wasn't wet. It would have been tough wet, but it was dry. Ann and Robert plotted us a really nice course back there. And there's a little aerial shot from Google Earth, which is really nice landing. It's not for big boats or anything, but for small fishing boats about that size, it's perfect. Plenty of parking area. It's very remote, but just beautiful. It was a beautiful day. The weather was perfect. We got underway uh, into the deliverance country, and uh, the current was strong going, going down. Bill showing us his maneuvering skills there, which looked pretty sharp. And she kept track of where we was going. In fact, I think she picked this site. It's a beautiful, beautiful site. Beautiful place to paddle. Cindy, I'm a little worried about her right now because it looks like she's going to ram a cypress tree, but I believe she did manage to divert it. But we had uh, one of those unusual beautiful days where you didn't need a jacket. Look at that tree there. The weather was just ideal. But like it's Cindy, she's really moving along with that current. Coming back was a little bit different story. We all had to work a little harder. I guess I'm going to have to try kayaking one day, but I'm still old school. I like to do it the hard way. But the trees and the woods, there's some wood that lightning struck that Cindy's going to make some art out of. We all grouped together under the cypress trees and had lunch. Just a great day for being out on the water and kayaking, canoeing, whatever your preference is. I think we should have brought a fishing pole though because there were a lot of fish This particular tree here was really interesting because it was hollowed out, kind of like a grotto, but uh, I'd love to know what the age of these trees were because some of them like that one there was gigantic and the way they, they grew it's like you know, generations of trees grown together. Lots of alligators, birds, fish. Check it out if you get the chance. Adios.